Is there sold enough candy bars this year to get in the top prize? Up and down now. Where were they going without ever knowing the way? Hello, everybody. I'm Directionally Challenged. Welcome back to more Dream Daddy. It's the show that everyone wants me to complete, so I'm gonna try. <clears throat> We walk down to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? You know, as a solid point. At least when I'm home, some random guys are gonna come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you sit it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there? Feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight, and now you're the jerk who left that mug. Are you afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. Hey. Hey. Inside the coffee shop is an incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls, and patrons lounge around in well-worn couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Hey. Hey, welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey, dude. Oh, it's, uh, kinda dumb. Oh. He gets mentioned in this poem I like, and thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose it's, now it's still a good idea, because, like, the business is still running. Hmm. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but, man, I'm we're in it now, and I can't yeah, stop. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. So what'll it be? Hmm. I skin the chalkboard and I'm immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Godspeed, you black coffee! Iced Tegan and Sarah. <laughs> chai Antwood. Well, I do like chai tea, so I'm gonna go with the chai Antwood. Spicy. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Diane Wood and South African is a South African ramp good. They're pretty well known for their uh, evocative imagery, hyper stylized music video. Their music is catchy as it is disturbing. Oh god, not those people. Hey. I'm doing the thing again. Hey. We're coming right up. Mm. And for you? I'll have a um, macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up, do you want it that small, medium, or biggie smalls? Um, uh, medium. Ah. What is Biggie Smalls? Big or small? Uh, nah, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt set out to making our drinks. Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey. Hey. Scott was cool once. It's still cool. Fuck you. Real big fi- I'm gonna go- I will go into another rant. This couch is actually pretty comfortable, and Scott is still amazing. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar sport. You sink right into it. Okay, that's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges yeah. me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Um, I don't know. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside. And also, don't go outside, and also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table, and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Hi! We're new in the neighborhood, and I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Franken. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You gotta come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll... maybe... come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from another table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot, I meant. Hey. You know what? Let me get you guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes up with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey. 
I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile. You know, really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda Nunn's vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give the na that banana bread a taste. If you want us to do free creative labor, I think it would be uh, commens commensurate with the... Uh, I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. <laughs> I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyways. Right, yes, that. That serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily checked out. This is amazing! Hey. Thanks! Secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might. I wanna be able to give you dad bad, dad band puns. But I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's. Grateful banana bread. Right said banana bread. Like right said Fred, but now it's about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it, despite not getting it. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah, right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. See? It sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet. Just for a moment. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay. Now we're full on caffeine. Where to? Let's get some fresh air. Time to soak up all that vitamin D. Make our bones nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are gonna be so strong they're gonna hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Amanda, I already have an irrational fear that my skeleton will one day escape my this flesh sack and run amok. Please don't encourage it. Right, sorry. Uh, to the park! Yeah, mmm. When you knocked. Man and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Huh? Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See the baby in that store over there? Give him an operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. <laughs> I bet. Goddamn CIA. Always getting into the other people's business. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and toddlers of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Ow! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. <laughs> a corgi! It's a corgi! A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around his neck bounds up to me, wagging his little tail. Uh, I like your necktie. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Impart your wisdom upon me. T Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. How long do I have left? What's that? I'm already too late. My fate was predetermined for me long ago. I have no real agency in this cruel lifetime. You're right. I am the master of my domain. For fate is unknown. Thank you, wise dog. You definitely could have caught that. Alright, I got a new voice for this guy. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Hey. Oh, you know frisbees are traditionally caught with your hand, not your face, yeah? <laughs> Yes. Catch it! Catch it with your teeth! You caught me off guard on this round. Not again. Never again. Ha! <laughs> I'm just meddling with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Franken, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over to Amanda to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's uh. tummy. Hi. Uh. Your dog's cool. Ah, uh, old Magnus, she loves the attention now. It's great to see another fallen daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? 
Ryan gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Oh. It's Dana now. He's reading the Brothers Kam Karamazov. Karamazov? I never get that word right. Her teacher tells me that she has a reading comprehension skill of a high schooler. How old is she? Ten. She's a pretty little young girl. Well, <laughs> my natural dad didn't six kick in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. I know, it's happening. Go on, Daisy. Tell them about your tale. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Oh, okay, okay. Do, do, do. Brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow, congratulations! <laughs> Brian loses 10 HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. You lose 15 HP. Can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a man of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Q no. It isn't very impressive, but Am it isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president to a go. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Oh, toss the grade card! You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of your back pocket. Dad. Awesome! Awesome grades! Brian loses 25 HP. You really carry that around everyone? Ouch. Maybe it is kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. This is old enough candy bar this year to get in the top prize of the new now. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. Spelling bee photo. Fumbling through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda! Did you get in prep for her annual spelling bee right now? Hopefully this will be a third win in a row. You lose 5 HP. Did I imagine Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy! Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. Damn, man! Last week, unprepared, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Daisy here has a full... <laughs> has all of her adult teeth! Never had a cavity either! Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra powerful. You lose 20 HP. What is Band-Aid for? With a flourish, you produce a Band-Aid from your pocket and take a knee and start to apply it to Amanda's arm. What are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent. Anyone agree? It's an unusual gesture. You lose 10 HP. Words on all days is good at, by the way. Amanda's amazing. One time I actually called her to double check my number before I made a cut for a support beam. You did that more than once, Dad. Doesn't that say more about him than it does say about Daisy? Still, you lose 10 HP. Dang, he's really got his beat. Boy, it's been such a <laughs> treat getting to meet you two. Art, right, did he have to have insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. Well, you know what? We're gonna leave it there for now. I'll see you in the next episode, everybody. Bye! Hey, thank you for watching. If you liked this video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. Either way, tell me in a comment down below. If you have any ideas for games you'd like to see me play on the channel, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. And subscribe to become a navigator so I can finally know where the hell I'm going.